Let's see what we will have. Hmm. Right, so we need to go meet this guy. Uh, we've already placed the marker on the map. I suppose we can go and deal with him now. See where it goes. What other side quests do we have still? I mean, apart from the Mystic Tomes, I'm not too sure what gathering all these is doing, other than just giving us a little XP. I've not really looked at any of these at all. Terrible Fetus. Oh, I don't I even want to look at that. There's these field researchers, though. Did I actually place these on the map? Eastern Reed Heights. Maybe we should just go and do some of these. Eastern Reed Heights. Oh, here it is, yeah. Um, Willow Lane between Herald Street and Bullock Street. Well, there's Herald Street. Willow Lane. Where's Bullock Street, though? Ah. Oh, so this must be all Willow Lane. So that's there somewhere. A suspicious restaurant. I don't remember which one of these was a hard job. Uh, Western Reed Heights. Which is up here again. Ward Street. Between Bourbon and Sam Reed Street. Sam Reed Bourbon. Ward Street. There we go. And that one was a... a shop. So maybe we'll go deal with those first. Um, where's the fast travel point? There it is. I know where I am. and shoes, finest clothes. Could be this one. A clothing shop. We should probably arm up as much as we can. I literally can't carry five bullets for this, can't I? That is just pathetic. Okay. Reload the shotgun, in case we need it. Probably need it. Oh, there's more of the green goo here. Ew. Oh god, what is that? Oh, it's one of the big ones. That's right, you burn! That was a bad placement. Got it anyway. Ooh. What the hell? Okay, so they explode. That's nice. Anyone else want to give me shit? job. I mean, I guess what we're doing is we're coming here just to clean stuff out, right? A looter tried to shoplift. There was an attack by a huge wild beast. I have to find out how it could have appeared in a locked building. So we've got to find the breaching point. Well, it was probably down in the basement, like all of them are. They're coming up through the water. No. There we go. Take the rifle. Let's give this a whirl. Those bags stink worse than a barrel of rotten fish. 
or Fisk, whatever. Wait, so where did the beast come up from again? Round here, wasn't it? Here we go. Ew. So there's dead bodies down here. Oh, it's like cultist symbols. Look. So did they summon it? Mother's Grace. Oh, the feckin' mother again. That feckin' mother. I don't know. Devours the weak flesh. The feckin' mother gives life to those consumed. New birth in many forms. The feckin' mother has many children and many and her family grows. See, this is what I was talking about earlier the, on the previous case. It sounds like they eat, you know, the feckin' mother eats people that then spits out clones of them, you know? How far did we get? Uh, we finished the quest with the clone weird people, the, the guy who nearly got burned. We killed him because he's evil anyway. He might even have been a clone himself, we don't know. We helped his son, uh, the one with the Phantom of the Opera face, uh, to become a better person. Possibly. And I have sweet chili pork, homemade sweet chili pork with rice. And it's delicious. I'm gonna take another bite. Mmm. Mmm. So yeah. That's uh that's interesting. So I guess everywhere we see this green slime probably has something to do with the feckin' mother. We know that's her potential emblem. But that's an upside down version. Ooh. Loot. We also got a rifle. So did we figure this out then, I guess? Or not? Hmm. loot container here I didn't loot oh here we go this putrid slime is everywhere I'll take a sample there we Dr. go Grant to examine got it an ooze sample we're gonna find some teenage mutant ninja turtles in this okay so yeah, now we're just doing a quick side quest. Uh, we're getting some samples for a doctor at, uh, at the hospital to figure out more about the wild beasts and how they work, what are they, that kind of stuff. So we can now delete that. The other one was over here. Now we could fast travel there, that's not too far away. Is he dead? No, he's twitching. Hello? Excuse me. You really shouldn't be sleeping out here in the rain. You're gonna catch cold. You're gonna catch your death of cold. That's right, get out of here. Ooh. Leave a lasting impression. So on here, we're looking for, um, what was it? A restaurant. Investigate an ill-famed restaurant in Eastern Reed Heights on Willow Lane between Herald Street and Bullock Street. So we're looking for a restaurant. Well, these look kind of restauranty, don't they? That's not it. 
Aha! So it could be this. This is it. Burn! Okay, these guys are... Oh god, there's one coming up from down the stairs. That was danger close. <gasps> One survived! Ow! Get out of here! No! I will eat my pork and console myself. That was a test run, as we all know. I'm very fond of test runs on this channel. I've also discovered that Molotov cocktails are not worth shit. Yep, we solved that one. Turned out that this cult over at an old church worship one of the old gods called the Fecund Mother. And they we're not entirely sure exactly what happened but somehow the feckin mother can create new versions of the same people they went after the son to try to convert him he made a deal with them to get rid of his father they fed the father to the feckin mother and outspat several clones we think we're not too sure if the old guy in the morgue was actually the original still and he just woke up sometime later and the guy, uh, the mansion that was supposedly his clone, definitely a clone, probably. But either way, we figured out that since the son wanted to have him killed, he's he's the guy we should have reported to the father. But then we spoke to the son. He wants to make the city better, so we've sided with him and we killed the guy that hired us. And now he's done the favor for us. So yeah, it was uh, all a bit confusing, really. <laughs> Okay, how do we deal with this guy? Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. That was a balls up of the highest caliber. You say that? Oh, God. Probably switch to this gun. The ammo is cheaper. Oh god, the insanity is getting crazy. Oh god, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, run away now. Oh, what the hell was that? Did he just poop on the floor and I ran into his poop? Oh god, the sanity. <laughs> gonna have to go back and watch that part yeah to make sense of it all it's oof, very weird what the hell <laughs> okay that corpse was bouncing around let's also replenish health again uh, we want that staff needed the count Ugolio, Ugolino, Ugolino, Count Ugolino, that's a weird name, restaurant is preparing to reopen kitchen hands, dishwashers, waiters and waitresses needed. All interest parties should come to Count Ugolino for an interview with the chef, Armin Myers. Okay, so they hired new staff, and then things got bloody. In fact, it looks like somebody was thrown over the balcony. The blood is still fresh. Down into the kitchen. 
A formal invitation letter. Dear Mr. Throgmorton, it is my pleasure to invite you to a tasting of exclusive and exquisite dishes, which will be taking place at the Count Ugolino restaurant in two weeks' time. This is a closed event, and only the most honourable guests will join us in attendance. I hope you will join us. Sincerely yours, A. Myers, chef. Hmm, interesting. Well, that seems to be a tasting that never was tasted. I guess. Somebody lit a fire, it's still burning. Not an illusionary fire. We need a key or something. There's no lock on it. Maybe I can use the hammer to bash the door open. Can we view any secrets of the hammer? The hammer contains no secrets. Okay. See a key anywhere. Is that a chicken leg, or is it, like, part of somebody's hand? I don't know. Mysterious disappearances. Police have started to look into the disappearances of several young women in Advent. Witnesses say they saw the missing victims visit the Count Ugolino restaurant, uh, but the police investigation found nothing illegal. Chef Armand Myers rejects all accusations of impropriety. Of course he does. to get down in the basement and find out what's going on down there. Look, there's more of those weird chicken legs. Yeah, we solved the photography. Well, we didn't solve as such. We gave, the, we gave the evidence to the police officer. He thanked us for our time and sent us on our way. And by we, I mean you. This is a this is a group effort, I like to think. You'll notice I do that a lot. I say we when I'm talking about what I'm doing on stream. I say, we're going to go and do this today. We're doing that today. Blah, blah, blah. And let's, why don't we go over here and do this? Because you guys are with me. You're coming with me. You're coming with me, whether you like it or not. Oh, You're coming with me into this basement where we will find dead bodies. Adorable <laughs> <budge>. uh, <clears throat> Sorry. You're coming with me. Hmm. Okay, is there maybe a hidden wall anywhere? Over here, maybe. No. Tablecloth, but yeah, the uh, the cop didn't really give us anything. He just said, "Oh, I knew these were probably all connected to this photo club. Thanks a lot. Off you go." And talking to him again didn't yield any more results. So I'm guessing we did our job. That's not creepy at all. No, it isn't. It's, it's perfectly normal. Don't worry. Okay, what do we do here? What are we supposed to do? Hmm. There's a cigarette box here, but we can't interact with it. And that's where we found the 
uh, the news article about how it's going to reopen soon. And over here we found an invite letter penned to Mr. Throgmorton. We found a bloodied hammer and a, obviously a corpse was dragged over here and thrown over the balcony. And then dealt with down there. But we can't get down there, can I? I yeah, of course we can. I'm not going to do that though. Not there. Let's do it this side where there's actually something to land on if we fall. There we go. Uh. <laughs> Uh, these aren't your typical kitchen utensils. I mean, you could use the big one to cleave through bone, I suppose. You'd be surprised some of the stuff they use in slaughterhouses. They use, like, uh, hacksaws and everything. I don't think the health inspector will be pleased. <sighs> no. No. No, no, no. Yeah, let's not look at the corpse. Oh, oh, god damn, boy! Not even a warning? Okay, that was a dumb idea. Let's not do that now. Boom! That's how it's done. You sick little freak. There we go. Can't carry any more of that. Oh. Oh my god. Wait. There are three dog bowls here. Pretty big ones. Where's your dog? Oh god, if I if if you have Cerberus as a pet. Anthropophagia. Phagia. Phagia, whatever. Anthropophagia, yeah, that's right. Uh, I was always sure my dishes could not be matched. Those who taste human flesh always crave more. What are we, bears or something? It is difficult uh, to find enough meat for my patrons. They spend all their time hiding in the basement, pleading to be fed again. Today I went downstairs and saw how the patrons had changed. They love my cooking so much that their bodies have adapted to consume more. I cannot let them down. I must post new ads in the Oakmont Chronicle. My funds are running low. Guess I'll have to find new prosperous patrons to support my business. Okay, yeah, you're crazy, dude. You're very crazy. Oh my god. Recipe for human meat. Preheat oven to 350 degrees. I'm guessing that's Fahrenheit. Cut the flesh from the young woman's hip into four ounce pieces, then pound each one to the thickness of one third inch, season with black pepper. On each steak, lay one slice of cheese, a few leaves of sage, and two slices of prosciutto. Roll into pinwheels. Eat the oil in a large skillet of a medium high heat. Quickly brown the pinwheels on the outside. I hope my new patrons enjoy the dish. Yeah. Okay, that's the way back up. Yeah. So this wasn't wild beast activity at all. Okay, let's go back to the doctor at the hospital and uh, report this creepy shit. Uh, excuse me, officer, by the way, I'd like to report a crime. Oh, never mind. Never mind. You don't give a shit, do you? Yeah. Um, find something you like. 
Be safe. We don't have any free beds left. <laughs> Wait, it was this guy that wanted me to do this, wasn't it? Did I not do everything I needed? Be safe. We don't have any free beds left. <laughs> oh, was it one of the guys upstairs? I can't remember now. Okay, I guess I didn't do everything I needed at both locations. That's weird. We got a sample of ooze to give him. This guy. Well, that's annoying. Be safe. We don't have any free beds left. <laughs> You'll need one yourself in a minute. I mean, they haven't flagged as completed, but sometimes I've noticed they don't. Okay, well, I'll figure that one out another day. I'm not going to waste all my time on that. We need to then go find this guy. We've got to meet him all the way up there. I think if we fast travel to the city hall and just paddle up the river. Huh. Very weird. There's probably something I need to do at those locations. There we go. Although the, the first one we collected ooze, that's pretty definitive. You know, give this sample of ooze to the doctor to, to study. But the second one, we just killed a maniac who, um, who was abducting and murdering women and cooking them. So we want to take one second right, and then hang a left. This one is it? No. These people are fishing without lines and hooks, by the way, otherwise I would have just got one right up my nose at that point. Is this the place? 